In Next.js these days, it can be tempting to just try to make everything use client, to make everything client side, which to some degree defeats some of the purpose of Next.js, or at least the feature of Next.js of supporting both server and client components. So whenever possible, moving client components to be leaf components rather than just making everything use client is probably a good idea. And that's what Next.js recommends as well. So let me show you an example of this to where we have our root layout component, but let's say in our root layout component, we want to have this search bar right here. But to have this search bar, you can see in our code, we have our state for our search query, and we handle this on change on our input. And in Next.js, if you want to use React hooks like this, and you want to handle web events like so, you're going to need to make that client side making it a client component. Now, one way to solve this is just making this whole root layout a client component so we can use those features. However, that's probably going to increase your bundle side of JavaScript and increase the amount of JavaScript you're shipping to the browser, which probably isn't great for the overall performance of your application. And Next.js also mentions that it's kind of a no-no to import server components into client components. So here, this logo component that I have here, it's a server component because you don't see use client anywhere in this component. So it's a server component, but we import it into our layout, which is now a client component because we wanted to support this kind of set query and some React state here. And here in the Next.js docs, you can also see an unsupported pattern is importing server components into client components. So we, we don't want to do this. So how can we get around this? Well, a good idea is moving this client component into more of a leaf component. And all I mean by that is we want to take this search query code, the code that is responsible for this input right here. We want to take this code here and turn that into a client component that ideally doesn't render any children. So we don't have to really worry about importing other server components into it. So the way that we can do this is basically just taking this code here and abstracting that into its own component and then putting this state into its own component, which as you may have noticed, I've already done this. I've taken this search bar, I've moved it into its own component to where it uses state and it handles the search and it uses this on change handler here within the input as well as the buttons on click to create this search bar and it is a client component. So instead of within our layout, just hard coding this input in this button right here, what we can do is we can remove this input as well as the button and I can just render our search bar component. And then I can also get rid of these stateful side of things within this root layout and we can remove use state and we can also remove use client. And now we're importing search bar, which is a client component into our server component, which is totally fine because when you import a client component into a server component and Next.js sees this right here, it's basically just going to leave a, a kind of like slot open for this client component to fill that in once the server component is rendered and once this is shipped to the browser. So if we come back, and I refresh here, we see we still have our search bar here. I'm gonna just type in some of this. I'm gonna click search, and that's exactly what we want to have in here. Just an alert that says you search for this. So as you can see, everything still works here, and we kind of get around the issue of just turning this whole root layout into a client component. So the TLDR here is that whenever possible in Next.js, you want to avoid just making everything use client and really only making things client side that need to be client side. So you might need to abstract some logic into their own client components and then import those in to server components. And Next.js recommends you try to make those as much leaf components as you can, which basically means you don't render a bunch of other components within your client component. As trying to import server components into client components is an unsupported pattern in Next.js, although you can do the opposite. You can import client components 
into server components. Let me know down below if you have any questions about this or if you have any suggestions for other videos you'd like to see. But if not, I will see you in the next one.